Hello friends, hope you are doing great. So in this particular video, I have thought to bring about CAN bus protocol and how we can utilize this protocol to communicate between different devices. Here I am using Raspberry Pi, Arduino and ESP32 and utilizing some libraries, I am trying to communicate over it. In the next part of the video, uh, which will be coming uh, later, we will be utilizing codices to communicate over CAN bus protocol in the Raspberry Pi. So that is what we will see. So let's first understand what is CAN bus. SCAN is basically uh, defined as control area network. It is a serial communication protocol which was designed for real time application. It utilizes a twisted pair cable which will be having CAN high and CAN low as a uh, main component and then uh, it will be utilized to connect with multiple control units. Okay, It was mostly utilized for automotive industries but now it is getting adapted in industrial automation, medical devices and aerospace also. So if we go by the OSI layer, then uh, it is consist of application layer, data link layer and physical layer. So if you see, uh, we have phys at physical layer where we, all the signaling happens is getting done through CAN transceiver and CAN controller at a data link layer. And then we have DSP microcontroller at application layer. So if we see the signaling, we will get a driver input. Then here it will be checking CAN high and CAN low okay, on the bus, uh, whichever is dominant then at the receiver output we will receive the output so that is how the mostly the graph get done and uh, as it is a serial so it can be utilized at a multi drop node so we can connect multiple devices on the same bus okay so what i'm showing here that uh, we have connected multiple devices uh, in a similar fashion so i have arduino uh, nano uh, which is uh, i'm utilizing the mcp2515 module and then it is a master which is going to send the signals and then we have uh, same arduino uno esp32 and raspberry pi as three different devices which is connected to get the data or receive the data okay so one is the sender and three are the receiver right now so in the raspberry pi i'm using a uh, can hat and then other are basic MCP2515. So if you see the message structure, this is how the message structure will be. We will have 11-bit uh, identifier, RT, ID. So let's, I'll show you here exactly the same structure how we are doing. So this is uh, the uh, library which I have used MCP2515. And then if you see here, uh, the structure which is getting, done is the first is a CAN ID. We need to provide an ID, okay, uh, which will be utilized for recognition. And then uh, we have the data length. So whatever the data line we define, for example, here I have defined eight. So if you see, we have from zero to seven as a data where which on which I'm sending the as a message. OK, so this is how the structure of a message will be. And the same uh, way, then we put it into the send message and then the data will get transmitted from here. So let me just download it. And uh, when we go to the serial monitor, we can see that it is producing or sending the data so if you see the h and t is one and two so that is one and two and on other we have five six seven eight zero zero so for example if i change the serial print command for third or second also then let me do it for second and download the code then uh, we will get data as one two and five which will be getting Send. So if you see here now, uh, one, two, and five. So actually, I'm just printing it here to show, but uh, right now the data is going from zero to five. Okay, so six data are going. So let me now connect uh, receiver side. So first I will connect to Arduino Uno. So there I'm also utilizing the same library as MCP2515. And now here uh, we will be reading it. So there we are sending. Now in that we will be reading it over uh, in the same library. Okay. So now if my error is, there is no error, then I will receive some data. Okay, so that is what the code is written. So this is a very basic code. You can find it in Arduino uh, library itself as an example. Uh, so that we can utilize. And now, uh, so that is a very, very basic code. Let me download the it into the controller. So once it is downloaded and when we go to the serial monitor okay now uh, we will be able to see the data which is coming so one two five six so all those data are now coming one two five six 
So how one to five three? Because it, if you remember, we have zero is one, two is uh, basically at one place five six. Okay, so that is how the data is coming. Okay. So uh, in a similar manner, uh, uh, okay. Let me just arrange this and even if I clear, so the data is coming. So master is sending the data to the uh, slaves or the receiver side is receiving the data so the communication is set up so let me uh, do it again for uh, esp32 so this is also very easy so here we need to have a, a little different connection uh, which is like ts and rx we have to define so i'm utilizing a different can bus library which is can dot h okay so and here i'm defining the serial communication over TX RX port which I will define and then we will be setting the pins for the CAN and when we start the CAN communication then uh, we will be putting it here for the receiver part because we have to receive we can send it also so now uh, once uh, the communication is set up the connections are done then we can be able to receive the packets so here first we receive the packet what is the packet size if it is more then we will be uh, reading the data over it okay so this particular library is there in the example also and we can utilize it so let me just download the code or done uh, downloading is done and then let's open the serial monitor and there we can see that the data will start coming okay so as uh, the hardware is connected and it will initialize the can okay so can is initialized and then uh, Okay, so uh, if you can see uh, the data is coming and here I am able to also printing uh, the can ID okay, and the data length and then the data whatever it is sending. So 1, 2, 5, 6 and 0, 0, 0, 0. So full set of data. Now let's go back to uh, Raspberry Pi. How exactly we can utilize Raspberry Pi for can communication. So here I am using RS485 can hat which can be mounted on top of uh, Raspberry Pi. So here we need to do uh, some of the configurations. So let me first connect to uh, Raspberry Pi. Uh, so I am connecting over SSH and then so that we can download some of the utility and configure uh, the Raspberry Pi to connect over Canvas. Okay. So that is the basic uh, configuration which we need to do. I will be putting all these commands into the description so there you can utilize so let's put first as sudo raspify config now here uh, we need to go to interface option and then we need to enable spi okay because it will be done at a spi level interface okay so this is enabled then we can come out of this configuration so this is the first configuration which we need to do in raspberry pi now after that what we need to do is we need to open the config file so boot firmware and config.txt so now if you go here okay then uh, we need to see for the SPI part. So if you see here, uh, DT param SPI is on. Okay. After this, we will put some configuration. Okay. So this configuration, I will put uh, it into uh, the description. So so here, this particular configuration for the MCP two five one five can communication, we need to put uh, so that it can get uh, into config and then. Uh, Raspberry Pi can be able to connect over SPI for CAN. So it is needed. So we will save it and we will exit. Now after this uh, just recheck. So everything is fine. All setups in the config is updated. So okay. We will exit. Now uh, we will put on the command as uh, DM ESG. So this is uh, what we are trying to do is we are checking whether the SPI is started or not. So let's put grip have an I and 
uh, the path of the SPA. So it can be like can SPA. This is what I'm putting. So when we put it, so if you see here, cannot find and the memory leak will occur if overlay is so okay. So this is if you see right now when we put it here, so it is not showing that my SPA is all it running here. It is not running correct. So let's reboot uh, the Raspberry Pi. Okay. Uh, okay. Let me change the command sudo reboot. Okay. So it has got rebooted. Now I'm trying to log in back. Okay. Now I will put the same command again. Now here, if you see that it is successfully initialized. Okay. So can device driver interface and MC. P251X SPA MC25 successfully initialized. Okay, so once it is initialized, then uh, we can be able to connect. Okay, so first uh, let me download uh, one utility so we can utilize here can utils. Okay, this is a very good utility for the uh, CAN bus control. Okay. So now uh, we have to set up the speed and uh, we can set it up using this particular command and then hit click the enter then the particular bitrate is set. So once the bitrate is set then uh, we can uh, just uh, put in a command called IP address and then uh, in, uh, grip for can. Okay so this will what it will do it will uh, make it uh, up and uh, we will be able to communicate over it now uh, let's uh, see we have uh, downloaded the can utility so let's do for the can dump and hyphen help using this you can be able to find the help how exactly we need to run the particular command for this uh, utility okay so all the options are given here which you can be able to check uh, in the help file so uh, utilizing this particular uh, can dump uh, can utilities we will be able to uh, start so uh, let me uh, put the command so so the command which we need to put is can dump hyphen tz and can zero after that as uh, we have them we had connected already so you can see that the same data which i was passing it over arduino nano uh, same thing is coming in the raspberry pi also so if you see for all the three different receiver even though they are of different uh, they are different devices all are getting the values and all are getting connected to the same uh, sender okay so all the details you can find it here so in this particular uh, way we can be able to communicate uh, all the different devices over CAN bus protocol okay so if you have seen it is a uh, two wire twisted pair uh, where we have the can high and can low and then it has a message structure of can id uh, data length and the data okay so all the devices whether it's raspberry pi esp32 or arduino we can be able to connect and communicate with each other so yeah that's all for this particular video and see you in the next one where uh, i will be showing the raspberry pi communication for the CAN protocol uh, using codices. Thanks for watching. That's all for this video. Uh, see you in the next one.